few minutes model shop, and then we're going to work on the DeLorean. This will be part three of the uh, video build. And I just go over the book. We're going to work on issue seven. We'll see how long that takes to see if we go into issues. Uh, just to kind of go back over how this book works. It shows you the part you're going to work on. Then it shows you, you know, the build process. And then, kind of like here, they say this is what it should look like when it's completed. And then again, like the other books, it goes into stuff about the movie, the actors, uh, different parts they played. Some of the, they'll go into like the DeLorean itself, all kinds of little different things. And so, and I like to, I, I just enjoy reading these books because they're very fun to read. And, you know, they tell you a lot about it. And sometimes what I really like is the inside stuff. And like, they just like, again, they originally the DeLorean was supposed to be a refrigerator. So they chose not to. And it's interesting to see why they cha changed along the way. And then of course it'll show you what the uh, next, what's in the next issue. And then again, the back cover just again shows you the parts that you'll be working on this time. And the parts come in the bags. The bags are numbered. So if you are not sure what's what, they come numbered, so that's helpful. And then we'll go ahead and take the parts out. I'm, I'm not a car guy. I'll tell you that right off the top. I basically know how to put gas in it and how to drive them. So, you know, I'm not going to say, well, what these parts are or what they do. I'm sure there are plenty of car guys that will know that. So, but like I said before, I think after I'm done building this, if I do it right, I could probably start working for my brother's auto shop. And then we've, you know, again, they give you a screwdriver. And then what I've done again is kind of like now on the Enterprise, they gave us a, a big deal to put the screws. They don't do it here. I don't think they do. So I went ahead and I purchased this, one of these little deals off Amazon to put my screws in so we keep track of them. And we can see the screws we're going to use here are the EM screws. Just a reminder when it's like M means metal. P means plastic, so when it says M, you're going to be screwing it into plastic. And I always look to see if I already have. Uh, actually, that's FM. I'm sorry, that's FM. FM screws. I'm going to go ahead and take the screws out of the bag. And another difference, like I'm building the Enterprise D, is that on the Enterprise D, they just put a little sticker on the top. Here they give you the little, yeah, which is kind of good for when you're going to put them back in here. You can just drop that in there just in case this gets worn off. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the this piece here, the long piece. And then we're going to set... I'm guessing this is a tie rod, maybe. And then we'll place that in like here. Then we're going to take an FM screw and screw that into place. Started. Okay, and that's in place. Then you do the same thing with the smaller one on the other side.
Okay, and that's that part. And next we're going to move over here to add these. These, little, these are rubber. I guess you could call them a rubber boot. And they slide in over this. And they fit in. There's a little lip here. I'm not, it's really hard. It's black on black. So it's a little difficult to see, but it's kind of a little deal there. And then we take the other one and do the same thing. We slide it back over. And <laughs> that is that is it. This part we won't be using on this deal. And you're going to get parts like that. I noticed that they send you a lot of parts you're not going to use right away. Again, like I said before, go ahead. And, you know, I get a little Ziploc bag to put all these extra parts in so I don't lose them. We'll move that out of the way. And then basically, again, what they show you is what it should look like. This is what your finished assembly should look like. And that's what it looks like. And I believe that is it for this book. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start working on book eight or issue eight. And we'll come in. We're going to look at what we've got here is the parts. It looks like we're kind of doing, say, roll bar. Roll bar. So we're going to be building the roll bar. And here we go. We've got the book. I already took the parts out of the bag. So we've got this part here. The roll bar, which is plastic. This is metal. This is plastic. These are plastic. And then we've got AP screws. So we'll go ahead and get the screws out. And then we're going to take this part here and we're going to add, looks like there are two of those. It's out of the way for now. And then it has little pegs. You can see better here. And then those pegs will just go, they'll fit into the two. There's, again, two pegs here. And like that, and then we attach them with AP screws. Okay, like so. Then our next step, we're going to basically just do the other one on the other side so it fits in the same way. And then we'll attach them to the underside. If they don't fall out. Now, one of the tricks that I've kind of always done when it comes to 
screwing anything in because I don't tighten it all the way. I just put each screw in, tighten it a bunch, and then put another one in because especially if you're working with metal, plastic, and that kind of thing, you can pretty easily warp things if you tighten up one part too much. So I just kind of like to get them started. Then I'll go back and I'll tighten up all the screws. And then again, that's what the bottom plate should look like. This way, because I think that it would go there. And let's see the next page. And that's it. So, book nine is basically we're just building the, another tire. I've already done that, so I'm not going to go through and show you how to do that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do it off camera, and I'll be back to show you how that looks. And we've got the tire complete. It's, it's rubber, and it, it's a solid. It's not a hollow. It's the solid rubber tire. And we have the, let's see if you can see that there, the DMC logo on the uh, little cap there. So that completes uh, book, book nine. So let's see what's on book ten. So here we are. We're ready to do issue ten. And again, we're going to show you the parts the frame, and a bunch of screws. So I'm going to open up the tin and I'll, and let's take a look at the parts. Here's basically the parts. You can see it doesn't really fit in the whole frame. It's So this is basically the, the, the body frame and screw. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that out of the box and we'll get to work on it. We're going to get started on issue 10 again. This is metal. The frame is metal. What we're going to be doing a lot on this is we're going to be building on parts we've already done in previous builds. For instance, we're going to be adding these parts, and it will probably be, it looks like we're going to add the stabilizer bars and some stuff that we've done before. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add one of these. Let's get it right. So we're going to add it to this end. Here, we're going to flip that over. This might be a little hard to keep in camera since it's so large, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this part here. And let me try to get this right. Just one to go. Way. Actually, we probably should flip it over because it's going to get screwed in from the bottom. And it's going to go in. There's two screw holes. Here. And then what we've got, we've got these little tabs here, and they're going to go into slots here with the end screws. There's a lot of screws in this packet, so we're going to go ahead and take out the BM screws. If we can get the package open. Okay. And all else fails. Cut it open. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of those.
Okay. So I went ahead and I added the other side. We have them. Um, it just basically repeats itself on each side. And then the next step, we're going to add one of the plates that we had from a previous version. And that goes this one here. And it's going to go. And this is going to go in place like this. There are corresponding holes. Looks like there's actually more holes than there are here, but we're going to get that. And those we're going to be using AM screws. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get these all nice and tight. Okay, and that completes this part here. Next, we're going to be using, let me get these screws out of the way. There's one nice thing is they always give you spare screws. And then step two, we're going to be adding this part that we did in the previous build. And that one goes underneath and above. So let's see here. So basically this these parts just kind of thread through here, and let's get this one. And there we go. 
and then this will go into this lug here and this one is going to go into Okay, and that goes into that lug here, and this one will go into So those will fit into these lugs, and they're going to be using a GM screw. So I just wanted to make kind of an observation of something I'm finding out with this particular Eagle Moss build is that a lot of times it seems like, like for instance, I was putting in this screw, it went in fine, no problems. This other screw, they get gets halfway in and it stops. It's like they're not tapped deep enough. And I've seen that in other places where you really got to get a lot of effort into it. And I've gotten this one as far as I can go and it's still got some play in it. I'm sure that'll be fine once we get everything else attached to it. That'll help solidify that up. But that is done for that part. And maybe I'll go back later and see if I can tighten this up some. Right now, that is it for that part. So next, we're going to be working on step three, which is attaching these to the pins. And they're saying that you should support this so I'm going to find something I can use to kind of support that so it's not and that one keeps falling and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get something that, that'll be able to support that so now what we're going to do is I went ahead and I got some supports either I just have some these are like perfect they're just uh, on top uh, a screw on top of another thing that I had and I was keeping them around for something I couldn't think of what well this is perfect so next what we're going to do is we're going to be attached this tie rod to the wheels here, so those use a DM screw. Well, that's going to be a pain. Okay. 
everything wants to move. There we go. And then we repeat on the other side. Boy, this magnet doesn't want to stick very well. Okay, so I have the other side screwed in and not that I'm going to be steering this a lot so I really but it's it's pretty tight but it works and then next we're going to be adding another part that we had done previously and that's this part here and we'll go ahead and we're going to Flip that over, and it is going to go here as a cover. Then we are going to be putting in the M screws. We're going to go ahead and screw that in with the M screws. So we've got that part screwed in, and our next step is we're going to put in this, I believe it's a stabilizer bar that we had in a previous deal, and that's going to go, I'll turn that over I believe. that
Now those are, that is on. And next we're going to put on the wheels. So let me get those and we'll get them on. So next we're going to attach one of the wheels and we're going to be using a GM screw. That is pretty darn loose, but I'll see if I can get it tightened up. And then we just repeat the same thing on the other side. And there we go. We've got both the tires on. And, uh, uh. Now, see, this is something. This one, this is built so that you can kind of build it either as the Back to the Future 2 where it has the hover thing. And this one is, I'm building this as the first one. So that one's why it's kind of loose. That whole piece just always flops off. I don't know if the magnet's not strong enough, but I guess it, once it's setting, it's not moving. So that shouldn't be an issue. So that's it. This is all done a part 10. Before I go ahead and finish up the video, I just wanted to show you something. I had purchased some add-ons. There's a lot of third-party add-ons you can get for these kits. And one of the add-ons I added was these. They're basically just stickers. They're just vinyl stickers. This is a complete set. And basically, as you move along and build the model, they just add some extras to it. Like one of the things, for instance, the for, in video one, you see these little pieces here. They're not there. It's just silver. And, you know, so that came with it. And then you just basically, they're just stickers. I stuck them on also on the, on the, license plate for like for the august and the california they were real super shiny kind of like a futuristic look and i don't think that would be what the original uh vehicle would have at that time maybe when it went to the other plate in the second one it would but these didn't so these just kind of placed it again all i did was just put the stickers on there and as we go through they're just going to add a little bit of extra detail so as we go along i'll show you where i put those and that like i said and then uh I also just, I also bought the carpet. There's a, when you get later on down the line, you build the uh, inside of the car. I built, I got the carpet. That was all. They have a lot of extra stuff. Those were the only things that I purchased because I think those are just going to add to it. Some of the other stuff is if you're building like a diorama, those would be great. But I got those at uh, Mike Lane's uh, site. So you can go ahead and you can look up Mike Lane or you can look up like, uh, Back to the Future add-ons, and it'll bring up his site along with some other sites. So I certainly hope you're enjoying watching me build this. And if you have any comments or any questions, uh, feel free to ask below. And I just, again, want to thank you for, for watching.